Hello everyone, I am back at my home university, I'm settled and I'm ready to start pumping out some videos again. So here is another iteration of what's on my Android for the month of July, and this is my trusty Nexus 7. And starting off with what's literally on my device, this is a uh, Poetic Slimline case, I think it's called. It's uh, just a folio type case that I've I used during my escapades in Europe. It's uh, you know, it keeps it decently protected and it's got a nice magnetic flap on it. Um, I will start off with the home screens as usual and then kind of get into some more nitty gritty of the applications. Uh, this is Novalantra Prime. I've been using Novalantra Prime for probably years now. It's my favorite launcher out there. Um, it's nice and customizable. And uh, this icon pack on here is called the uh, Lumos icon pack. Now, starting on the main page here, we just have a uh, big old dash clock widget with a couple extensions for the weather, battery info, and the current start date. Um, then down here, some more of my commonly used applications, some social media stuff like Facebook and Phoenix for Twitter, um, Reddit Sync Pro. Instagram, you know, uh, Google Play Books, a couple of listening things, Spotify and Pocket Casts, and a rather new one. This is my uh, my new news reader aggregator of choice. It's called uh, G Reader. It's a really nice material designy um, news reader. So go check that one out. Then we have some games here. Not that I game often on here. Uh, kind of the ones I use most often are Clash of Clans or Plants vs Zombies 2. And uh, moving over to uh, oops, moving over to the left side here, we just have a couple couple more applications that I use commonly: Android Central, Duolingo. Um, you might notice I have a couple uh, note-taking applications on here. I'm in the process of testing which ones I want or which ones I want to keep. Um, I have Google Keep up here. I've been using that for a while, but I kind of want some more functionality out of my note-taking stuff. So uh, I'm trying to get into Evernote down here and. I think Evernote's going to offer some more functionality for what I want. So, like, if I want to take voice notes, if I want, I kind of want to format them differently, not just like a single line of text or a single checkbox that like Google Keep allows. So I'm working on that decided to decide which one I want. And then up here is a widget for an application called My Homework, and this is just a it's a school planner. Um, I'm kind of bummed that I found this for my. Uh, my last semester of undergrad, but hey, it is what it is. Um, this is a pretty nice application. I can set, uh, and you can set homework reminders for yourself. You can, um, the uh, reminders are really customizable, which is, which I really appreciate. You can set different tasks. You can set your class list on here, and it's, uh, it's really nice, just because um, this way my planner is on all my devices. I can access it on my desktop over there, and it's really good. I would suggest it. It's, uh, you have a bit of a advertisement down there for the pro version, but it's really that's about it. Um, it's a really nice application. I suggest you check it out if you if you're a student if you don't want to write stuff down because God knows I don't like to write stuff down. <laughs> and then on the final page over here we have uh, the today calendar. This is the pro version. This is a great calendar. Uh, definitely recommend it. Go check it out. And the uh, the widget itself is really nice too. It's really clean. It's really pretty and <laughs> so that's the calendar I, I use all the time I have my class schedule and my workouts and everything listed on there and then here is I got a new uh, to-do list or a task list application and this is called G tasks and this application just recently got a material design update so it looks really nice now <laughs> and I would go check it out the uh, you know it's got the uh, it syncs with your Google tasks account so you can get it from wherever you are and all your reminders are going to carry over stuff like that too. So it's really nice. Um, this is what I do to uh, keep myself on track. Um, I would go check that out if you're in need of a uh, to-do list application. I've looked for others, but some of them just like, they require, you know, paid subscriptions. And this one's just, this is a free version. You can get a paid version if you want a little more customizability out of it. And that about does it for my home screen setups. Let's dive into my applications. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go kind of slowly through here and kind of point out what's, you know, to know about this uh, tablet of mine. Uh, just in case anyone's curious, this is just a 5.0 Lollipop. I need to take a 5.0.2 update. Um, but this is just stock. I am rooted. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's dive into some applications, shall we? 
Uh, we have AccuWeather, that's kind of my uh, go-to weather application of choice. Um, Authy, I've been using that for two-factor authentication for a bit more uh, security on websites. I have a couple websites synced up here for you to get a code, stuff like uh, my Google account. If I need to log in from a different computer, I can pull up a code on that and log in. Um, Dolphin Browser, just in case, for those pesky websites that do require Flash plugins. You know, just kind of wish those would die in a hole by now, but they're still they're still around there. Um, <laughs> Evernote, like I said, I'm working on that to see if I want to keep that or not. I have Phoenix for Twitter because it's a really cool material designy um, Twitter application, and it's not the default Twitter application, so that's like all the more reason to use it. <laughs> um, Flights is a is an application for Skyscanner. It's um that's a cool flight service where you can check for really cheap or you can like sort your um, airline searches by like the cheapest ones. I just, I use that a lot. Everyone uses that a lot in Europe. That's, um, someone showed me that. It's really cool. And I actually just used that to book a flight to Phoenix the other day too. Um, G-Reader, like I said, really cool application. Um, GSAM battery monitor. Um, so I've been testing some battery stats on Lollipop. I think it could just be me, but I think Lollipop might be a little worse on my battery than KitKat was, but... I don't know, that's uh, to be continued on that one. Uh, Material Player, this is a... Uh, I just found this the other day, actually, and I'm not sure why that says Harry Potter on here, because it's definitely not Harry Potter, but... This is for uh, Lord of the Rings, actually. Just a cool material design um, player for that. I'm really not sure why that says Harry Potter on it. I'm pretty sure it was set to Lord of the Rings last time I saw it. Anyway... Um, I'm using Mint and Mint Bills to uh, kind of keep track of some finances. Uh, Mint Bills is nice just for uh, stuff like rent, um, Spotify payments, that kind of stuff. Um, my homework is the planner that I'm using to keep track of, to try to keep my last semester, you know, to go out with a bang instead of a fizzle. That was, that's kind of my goal here. <laughs> See, we have the uh, Sony Play Memories, Play Memories application. I can use that with my Sony WX350 that I'm actually shooting on right now. Really nice application if you have a Sony phone. You can shoot remotely. You can transfer your stuff via NFC really quickly. It's really nice. Uh, Reddit Sync Pro, like I said. Uh, the uh, Google Rewards application, that is a fantastic application if nobody's ever used it before. All it does is you can... Uh, you get offered some surveys from time to time, and if you answer them, sometimes they will give you um, credit to your Google Wallet account, which is a really good way to pay for, uh, I use it just for paying for paid applications. <laughs> it's, I've, I should look up the total I've made sometime. I'm sure it's well over $10 that I've made since I've had that installed. Um, S-Converter, um, it's kind of a, I think it's a little less known application. It's a really nice just for uh, converting, making conversions and stuff. I use this application a lot in Europe because you know those silly people in their metric system. Uh, Sliding Explorer, that's a, another material design uh, file manager application. Um, Super SU, this got an update recently. It looks it looks really pretty. I'm a, I'm a fan of anybody that's took the time to make their applications material design it's I definitely appreciate it. like Wikipedia down here that's even that got it good job guys um, and I do have a couple of um, wallpaper applications I'm kind of trying to decide which one I want out of the two of these these are Walmax and Wally they both take their uh, wallpapers from a website called I think it's called uh, Wallhaven now something like that it used to be like Wallbase or something um, really good collection of wallpapers. It's just that these applications are both really laggy. It could just be me. Like, I guess Nexus 7 is, isn't the newest hardware in the world, but it's, it's pretty laggy. But it is nice and, you know, material designy, and they've got some rockin' wallpapers, like the, uh, you can see a facet from Mallor down there. Um, speaking of which, my, uh, background is also, um, a facet from Justin Mallor, I think it was. Forgive me if I got your name wrong. In case anyone's looking for that, those are some really rockin' wallpapers. And I think that about does it for my applications. Nothing too crazy going on here. Um, I'm kind of in the midst of testing out a bunch of stuff that I want to use for my tablet and for my phone. 
and I do have some plans for some major revisions, so uh, next month be sure to check that out. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's good to be back. If you have any questions, ask away, and I'll try to help you the best I can. Later.